inside from here from here from here to to here and here so when you are here this opening forward it has to go open this way. otherwise you know, you are only doing this yeah you have to feel the, at the beginning if your rear foot if you go like this tippy toe you can feel the stretch here otherwise it does not move it's stiff you go you see when I do push hands a lot of times you look at my push hands clips I always tippy toe that's when I'm the strongest because I can open the inside like this here if you're like this can you see it only pops upward it does not go to the floor so you look at my feet so when you fight let's say like this here you're only fighting upward but if I engage my opponent and try to fight and when I go tippy toe my force immediately goes down I'll do this again <laughs> arm can you see this is finished now look at up my arm. My arm, the entire, the arms, the forearm and the bicep, no more movement. It looks like he's moving, but it's actually this rod is moving, rotating from the quad. Can you see that here? And then number three is from the quad, push all the way down to the floor that way, forcing the rest out. So I'll go sideways for you to see the front. Can you see in? No more movement. Only the quad causing the torso to move. Can you see that here? So, you see you are doing this. Can you see? One, two, on the three, these only extend. The power is from the rear quad to the rear foot, causing this to extend. So now I'll give you a different perspective here. Can you see in? you cannot see my arm right so yours is like this you can see it so in turn and then here so look at the front knee here and my, my torso is here this is the front knee if they don't separate they're moving together it's not real it's not effective you did not really create a rotation the rotation is because the front knee does not move. You only move your torso. Can you see that here? And once you, you get the second one, you will have power that normal people don't have. And then by the time you can do number three, the rear quad pushing to the rear floor, floor causing the whole body to be repelled back to your opponent that will give you very very special power so the number one yin with elbow is normal you're a normal human number two turn with waist or led by and led by the qua you are robot cop Number three, if you know how to propel your rear quad to the rear floor, you become, uh, what's the, uh, how do you call it, the superhero, like in the Marvel movies. You have almost superhuman-like abilities. So these are the three comparisons. Okay. Uh, and you see, uh, Simon, your number one is good, your number two is totally, you're faking it. No, no, you moved again. No, 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 no. don't have sound. Number one, everybody can see. Now look at the shoulder and this quad, this line here. Your number two, you are all doing this. Watch, even you, your hand is like this. Your shoulder still is moving. So watch here. Hate it. It's like this. Can you see it's in the same spot? You guys are still doing this. Look at here. You are still doing this. 
But watch what I did. So you are here. The idea is to move your quad and let's say your knee. But because they are not really relaxed, they are not open. So your movement, can you see it's on your shoulder? But you think you are doing the quad. But if you actually are able to do the quad here, can you see the quad is moving? The shoulder movement, can you see, it stays in the same place. And if the quad does not move, in the end, you are still here. You look at my finger where it's pointing. When I say rotate, you rotate it like this here. You rotate it like this. Your rotation starts to pull back. This is typical for everybody. It has to stay there and rotate. So watch me again, okay? I'll do a bigger one. Look at the, full, the, the entire forearm. When we make that rotation, it should be like this. We always like to do this. This is the flaw. We won't allow one little bit of that. We only allow this here. If it's too difficult, we can go up and, and go up and out, but we cannot go back towards ourselves. So you try and try until your body remembers what a rotation is. Don't come back. Remember the whole idea is you don't reverse yourself. See, this is reversing yourself. So watch here, you went like this. See. Many, many people, many of you are doing this. So after fetch water, many people went like this. You cannot do that figure eight. It's not possible when you're fighting with the people. So now you are here. Can you see you only move forward? Can you see where I am? I resolve the conflict here with the shoulder. And then I continue to push out. It's like this. Yours is like this. Your hand is here, your hand is here, your shoulder is here, your elbow is on this side of the line, although it looks very straight. Can you see that now? You have to rotate, rotate until your elbow is on that side. Your elbow from here, it has to switch to this side. This side, this side. We're here. See, so look at my quad here. You, when you go like this, can you see there is no switch? Okay, the switch is here. You are going to be there, but there is a stop, which is the switch. Can you see? I'm still here. Okay, so I'm not doing that yet. I'm still here. And then I turn, open the foot, so that it further allows this here. Can you see this now? I'm still in the same spot. Now the foot is up. Once I'm here, now I switched. Now I'm here and here.